Mm, seven will be against a brand new Norse team. Interesting. They're going to get a lot of inducements. Okay, stream quality is excellent. I imagine it's it's just a brand new team. He has got a Hetty, which sucks. Yep, it's a brand new team. Only one reroll and no APO, so that's good. Good lord, <laughs> he's going to have a lot of... Oh god, that Yeti's going to be a pain in the arse to deal with. We got our big man unleveled. Level 2 thrower. With Hail Mary. Two blodging catches. Block Mighty Blow. Tackle Blitz us. That's he's gonna be super important. We've got to protect Dolmar as much, much as we can. And then we got an plus edgy lineman and a tackle lineman. What's he going to do inducement wise? Pass him, I'd go fireball. Or wizard, so 150, that leaves him with 190 still after that. Ex two extra rerolls, that's 200,000. Three extra rerolls. Hmm. That's not bad at all. That's going to give him a slight reroll advantage. He'll have four in total. But I can back myself to try to get his lads off the field. Because I've got the Ogre with Mighty Blow, and I've got the Blitzer with Mighty Blow. Good evening to all the sports fans. Okay, good. And it's a home game for us, so we know that the weather will be good because of the Magical Dome. Uh, I'm just going to mighty blow any of his players that I can. At all 7 AV, I have to trust myself to win the bash. He won the toss, I assume he's going to attack. Black, have fun, friend. A block on all of his lads, so actually... Equal fairness are not, not bad options actually. Shouldn't wait to pressure him. Right, where are my linemen? We are defending here, so. Leave those three lads there. All of us on the line. Six movement. One, two, three, four, five, six. You'd have to go for it if you want to tackle. Okay. But I hope we can win. It's been a tough few games. Block Dauntless. Block. Block. I think whenever I get the chance to hit with my ogre, I'll hit the Ilfairness. And whenever I'm attacking with Dolmar, we'll go for the linemen or the runners. That claw on the Yeti is gonna be fucking horrible to deal with. Hey. Ball. 
All-Stars in the game of When are they gonna replace it? I don't know, but, and I know what I mean. You just want me to set you up so you can... No balls, please! We're doing coaching. Oh, fuck, he's got five re-rolls this half. Good lord. <laughs> That's a lot of re-rolls. Shit. Come on, Snobby. See what you can do. What? He must have misclicked. But he wild animaled. Push. That was actually lucky for him that he wild animaled because he must have tried to click on the big guy, but he accidentally kicked on the lineman. That's all I can think of what happened. Oh, yes, a reroll. Yeah, hello. <laughs> there goes a reroll. Go on, injure him. Nope. Okay, pretty good. So I'm gonna support the blocks here to give him two. I'll need someone else there, but first things first. Let's punch this Ulfana. I've got Wrestle there, so I'm actually happy to put Griff up there on the line. Let's see, this should be a two skull now. Go on, Dolma. Multi blow injure. Here we go. Nope. Uh, the one dice here is actually pretty friggin' risky. How far can these guys go? Not that far. I think I'm just going to do the same thing here. I'm going to stack these guys. So if these lads follow up, then they'll be in a disadvantage, disinv disadvantageous position. Words are hard. Go on, Stubby. Do something. No. Okay, well, that's still pretty good because it forces him to use Blitz on his Yeti if he wants to hit with it. And the main thing is my Mighty Blood Blitzer is protected. And if he tries to hit the lineman, then if any follow-up shots should be at a strength disadvantage. That would only be one one dice for him. Quick and easy. Nothing to see here. <laughs> if I can somehow hit that Ulfana with my Ogre, I'll be very pleased. But every single turn, what we're going to try to do is to get the two mighty blow shots on the Ulfanas. I want to get them off the field. <clears throat> well, maybe Dolmar is better off hitting one of the Berserkers or linemen. Right That's risky. Now he might even be at strength disadvantage if he follows up. Takes the push. Did he, what did he do? Reroll? No. <clears throat> Wild animal, action success, block, block. Yeah, he didn't reroll that. Okay. And now he's exposed his Yeti horribly.
Here we go, Mr. Berserk. Oh, fuck, you're all the pal. Stunned? Not too bad. Just stunned. Yes, take the hit. Fuck's sake. Follow up. He has to follow up because of Frenzy. God damn it. That's two knockouts in one turn. The main thing is now I don't have to blitz with my Mighty Blow Blitzer to hit the Ulferna. Problem is getting the two, two dice is going to be hard. But such a man disadvantage now. Pazim, I'll just stack the line here now because it would be very hard for me to actually get these guys away. That is fucking ruining me. A typical both shots that knock my guys out. I've got higher AV and he doesn't have Mighty Blow. My Mighty Blow guy can't get a knockout yet. It's only been one turn. Let's give him a chance. See, this sucks because now it's, it feels like I need to knock down the Yetis to free up these guys to support these blocks. If this goes wrong, that just ruins my whole fucking turn. You could dodge it right here to give me a one dice with block advantage against the Ulferna. Does he, does he have... he doesn't have Prehensile Tail. And yet that's still a one dice, okay, because of the strength differential. Fuck's sakes, so I'm gonna have to open up the big guy. And it came off nicely, thank goodness. Yes, injury, come on, injure him. Mighty blow, injure, come on. It's the stun. So if I go there, I have to GFI, which I don't want to do. I've still got a reroll. And I might blow the Ulferno. Punch there and there. But if I go here, then this is a two. Which then makes that two, does it? That's probably safer, I think. That's block disadvantage, but I just need a push. The pal works beautifully. Still haven't even blitzed yet. I'm actually going to blitz here and then go support one of the other hits. Oh, but I can't though. I'm going to have to roll a... One dice here. Shit. Okay, so. Beautiful. Fuck off with your snake eyes. God damn it, I'm burning through rerolls here. Come on, injury! 7 AV, come on! Ugh. This is not the way I was supposed to go, <laughs> for fuck's sake. The defense is looking pretty good, though. And if he had jumped up, he might have been able to jump up there to get another block, but he's just going to have his blitz. Just keep defending and keep punching and hope that the 7 AV will break more than our 8 AV. It's hope, because hoping always turns out so well for us. 
He doesn't have any good blocks here. Come on, he's breaking, he's getting really lucky with his armor breaks. It was only a stun, but... As long as I keep punching with my two mighty blows every turn, his luck will run out. Oh, please stand someone next to my Mighty Blow Blitzer so I don't have to blitz with him. Please. Probably gonna have to blitz with the big guy. And now we're gonna blitz with the Blitzer. Get some music going. How about uh, Commander? Hey. How's that level? That level sounds good. Time. Nope. Uh, I can't help with any other blocks. But just stay back, stay safe. Quite happy to have him punching the big guy. Come on, guys, together. <laughs> ah <-ha! laughs> the way he goes. Ah -ha! So anyway, I can make that into a two skull. Uh, no, I hate throwing one dices. invite him to go here because then I'm hoping I can follow up with the blitzer yes failed the wild animal and that's another blitz wasted and he's wasted a reroll yes. still got plenty of blocks you can make though Thankfully, though, if he hits with the Ilferno onto these guys, his follow-up shot will be at strength as advantage, only one dice. He might actually have good dice against the Ogre with the Ilferno. It'll be two dice every time. And this is turn four, and he hasn't even gotten the ball into our half of the pitch yet, so we are defending well, despite the two knockouts. Come on, the missiles!
push. Ah, okay, that's fine. He's exposed his Ulfana very badly, though. It's just interesting to know what to think about what's going to be more likely to injure one of his players. Blitzing the 8 armor Ulfana that doesn't have block, or blitzing one of the 7 AV guys that do have block. So the big man is pretty much just going to stand up and get punched every turn. But he's tying up three of the pieces, which is very good. And build the cage here, move the ball up. He's gonna, he would have offloaded to the runner already that has this extra movement speed. Ha. Right, so first things first. That's the Ulfana. Probably better off hitting that one though. I've already got one in contact here. I think this is still just going to be one dice if I move this lad across. Come on with the pushes. get a two by putting my catcher here but now it's only a one against that Ulfana mm. that's a block advantage so come on injury here we go ah. <sighs> come on logics this is game seven and you've only got one injury that's no good. Let's follow. And then attacking him now actually suits him, so I'm going to wait, because if he rolls both down, I can wrestle him down. Giving him three blocks, though, which is not good. Four if you include the blitz. Go for it. Ah, oh, fuck it. You should have got a push there. Live, Alexandra. God, these armor breaks, man. Seriously. Three to nothing with extra armor and Marty Blow. The dice hate me. This is fourth game in a row. The dice have been fucking hating me. It's going to be damn near impossible to stop him scoring now with three players down. Oh, come on, get a push. Get a push. Yes. He's going to reroll that. And gets the push. Good. Now the follow ups only be one dice. Ah. He 
good. So hopefully Dolmar stays on his feet and I won't have to blitz with him. And I can blitz with one of the other blitzers. He's making a lot of moves that I would consider like suboptimal, but he's getting away with it because he just keeps getting the KOs. I think I've actually made more blocks than he has, but he's just gotten all these KOs. I suppose I should be just grateful that they aren't injuries. This is some straight up bullshit. So these la lads aren't tied up, so hopefully, hopefully we can mount a decent defense here. He's still got three turns after this, so uh, it's going to be really hard to stop him from scoring with three players down. This fucking mighty blow needs to start doing something. God, it's frustrating. I think I've, I've blitzed four times with him and gotten nothing, just a stun. And I've managed to punch twice with the ogre and gotten nothing out of it. Whereas he's punched without any mighty blow and consistently has gotten knockouts. Live exile. Good lad. Go on, let's wrestle. Get him, Griff. Wrestle him down. Nope. Push. So I'm hoping I can get this blitzer around there and I can hit that dude. Roll the six, good lad. Is it only a one? Um, I suppose it would be only a one. What I can do is, if I dodge the exile away, then this becomes a one dice with block advantage. But technically, this catcher moving away, which should actually be a higher chance of, of working. He's got dodge. Rolled a fucking one. Whew. I think I can turn that into a mm, only a one skull. I'm gonna hit this lineman, because if I push him forward, I can be in contact with a ball thrower. And he's got 7 AV. <sighs> Fuck it. I, I need to fucking punch some of these guys now. Come on! Fucking. <sighs> well, let's just keep rolling the dice. Eventually, the dice have to take pity on us and go in our favor. Not this time. A dodge away chance. Indeed, duck yours. But this is fucking bullshit, man. God damn it. The fucking rolls are always against me. Not always, but for the last four games they have been. I'm gonna try to dodge away from this nerd.
Now these lads better wake up. If they don't wake up. Ugh, oh, God. I feel like I've played all right. I think I've made reasonably good decisions. It's just... The dice hate me. Looking like a repeat of the Wood Elf game where we, we, we succeed in 49 blocks and get no injuries against them. But dice can change at any moment. Keep rolling dice and believing. What's up, Freedom? All he has to do is push this catch it back and he can make a break for it just a push thank goodness shit thing is he's gonna have a reroll for each of his last two turns unless he spends it on this turn Does that help me? I don't even know. I think so. Interesting choice. I would have just... Mm, yeah. I suppose he only has a one dice here. If he, just, if he doesn't knock a Dolmore down, I'll be thrilled. <laughs> All I can do is hit with Dolmar every turn and hope that Mighty Blow against the 7 IV finally does something. It's only been five in a row that he has failed to get so much as a stun. <sighs> it's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it works out for him. He's got a reroll. 50% chance to catch. Oh yes, make that dodge. Go on. Easy. Of course it worked. Why would it fail? It's not me rolling dice, it's him. Fucking lucky motherfucker. This guy. Finally, his luck's running out. Had to happen eventually. Why would his armor break? It's, it's seven armor. It's the most invulnerable armor in the game. <sighs> Fucking Christ. Well, this is just fucking rotten. I've got to stop doing stupid shit like this. <sighs> I 
miserable. Nothing but skulls. Just throw the dice, whatever, who cares? We're gonna get fucked by the dice anyway, I might as well just roll. Ugh, it's so fucking disheartening. Ugh. When was the last game we got where we didn't get fucked by the dice? It was... The two Orc games were fucking terrible last night. Then before that, I think it was the High Elf game. We've got That's three in a row, this is four in a row now. It was five games ago where we managed to make the one guy concede by getting an injury and a KO on the first... Injury and a death on the first turn. Three guys got up. <sighs> Getting fucking angry. Well, he's got one turn left to punch. We get another chance to get these lads back. Who do I want to try to complete a pass with? Because the, the two turn score is not really going to happen. No rerolls, so it's not worth it. I'll just use the thrower. Even when I'm attacking now, I'm going to stop putting everybody on the line of scrimmage because, you know, normally what happens is he then gets the perfect defense kickoff and then that fucks me over. Magical Dome doing its thing. Come on, Dolmo. Attempt number seven. Nope. Still can't do fucking anything with your mighty blow. Secure the ball. 
Whatever, may as well try it. God damn, this team is fucking hopeless. Ugh. I thought it's me that's hopeless, but <laughs> God, these guys. Ugh. why I so badly want all four of my blitzers to have mighty blow there's just the one guy with mighty blow apparently against seven armor value it just doesn't do anything it's a brand new team and he he, he got three hundred and forty thousand of petty cash so he just bought f uh, three extra rerolls to go for it's easy because why wouldn't he burns one of his rerolls he's got plenty of them there you go Fuck it up. Fuck up the wild animal. Here we go. Oh, God. At a certain point, I'm going to need one of the more experienced guys to start coaching me because now I'm in a situation where I don't see what I'm doing wrong tactically. That's making me lose all the time. It just feels like it's, it's purely the dice fucking me over, but that's usually just an excuse for poor play. someone like Duodes or uh, Logix or someone like that to talk to me while I'm playing because I, I don't see what it is that I'm doing so wrong that keeps on making me lose so much. That, that's a one dice, but it is with block advantage. Of course, what else would it be? <sighs> Get up, you fucks! Okay, one of them's up.
Mustn't forget, to get, mustn't forget to get that blitzer on the field. Or this lineman here. Come on, let's get a let's get a touchdown. Let's get an injury. Fucking do something. Oh, I'm just gonna have to gamble that he's not gonna get perfect defense. At a certain point, I gotta start taking chances if I'm gonna have anything work for me. I mean, my strategy for this for this game was just to punch them until their armor broke. And considering now I've got two guys with mighty blow and most of them have seven armor, I think that's the right strategy. I mean, I think trying to avoid wouldn't have worked. The thing is, well, yes, uh, yes and no. I mean. Like in, in in the over the long run, over the course of enough hits, I don't see how that it's gonna gonna pay off. But I don't know, maybe. Let's recover the ball and get a pass off at least. I forget my hear what you're saying, but I just, I, I can't, I just don't buy it that, I don't know. I mean, if you take what is objectively the best move every single time, eventually, it should pay off for you. I mean, it doesn't make any fucking sense that you've got to do crazy shit that is, well, I mean, I, I suppose I'm assuming in my argument that doing the crazy risky stuff is inherently, uh, Less likely to come off than the safer stuff, but I don't know. I, I, I just don't see how the advice of don't do the basics right is, is the way to get you to win. My bit has always been that if you do the basics right and minimize risk over the course of a hundred games, for example, then it will go in your favor. This just could be just a horrible patch in that total hundred games. <laughs> There we go. Now we're getting some KOs. Finally. I suppose the best advice you can give is uh, stop rolling ones. <laughs> Right, we've got a two men. Do we get three knockouts in that round? I think one of them is still from the from the first half. Yeah, like I mean, I feel like I've been I've been trying my best to do that for the last well for you know every game I've played with the human team. It's just been fucking rotten. Anything and everything that can go wrong will go wrong. But but I bet you when we play the elf team next, that's gonna not be so bad. Anyway, let's uh, stop feeling sorry for ourselves and get into this game. <clears throat> yeah, well, I mean, the thing is, if you've seen most of my games, you, you would know I'm, I'm not at all adverse to taking a risky play. 
like in my in my tournament game with the chaos i ended up succeeding a pass that needed a six to succeed and then a six to catch and i got that to work off to work i'm totally fine with taking the risky play but it seems very often like you do you do the safe numbers game you, you make all the safe moves then the dice fuck you and you get injuries and ko's and then you're in such a shit position that taking the risky play doesn't do anything anyway anyway it's, it's just it's, it's, it's i think it's mostly selection bias because i mean all i'm remembering is the stuff that goes badly you don't remember any of the stuff that goes well I mean that kickoff event at least helped us. Stunned one of our guys and three of his. Okay, so Mighty Blow Lad is gonna try to blitz the Ulfana. If we can reach him, we'd have to make a go for it to reach him though. Best shocking chance of knocking down this Ulf is with my big guy, so this guy needs to go down. Yeah, that's actually reasonably safe because of the tackle. Wrestle. That's going to be a one dice. Unless I'm prepared to make GFIs with this blitzer. Then here I would have to make two GFIs to complete that block. If I put myself there though, I'm really risking... I've got rerolls. When the game starts going crazy, you gotta start playing crazy. Roll to three, good. And that means I only have to roll one GFI here. And it puts three of my players in a threatening position. Come on, injury! Fucking hell! I got a five movement thrower. He's like he's like an orc thrower. He's rubbish. Get him, Stubby. <laughs> pulling shit there's definitely a time and place for pulling shit out of your ass I mean, at the end of the day if you're lucky enough it doesn't matter how badly you play as evidenced by my last four opponents Now this 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 lineman with the four edgy is actually a decent receiver if both of my catches get incapacitated. Which hopefully they won't. Well, I mean, just just look at look at how we managed to score against uh was it against, it was against the amazons we managed to score on turn 16 it was we had to make a lot of dice rolls it was not the safe course of action we had to make a dodge then a pick up a contested ball on the ground then another dodge then a throw then a catch then a handoff a re-roll See, this I didn't see coming, which is stupid of me. 
Oh, finally we get a break. The thing is that of, of, of all the races I've played, I've, I've played the humans the most, and the humans are actually my favorite. If I go here, there's an interception chance. What's up, UBCR? Let's tackle this dude away and then make that throw and then run it in. First. Uh, for me, uh, whether I make it to the playoffs or not depends almost entirely on how well I do on in, in round six happening next week. If I win, I have a fair chance. If I draw or lose, I'm not going to make the playoffs. I've only got one win so far out of five games. And that'll do. Short pass with three rolls, double ones. Double ones. You see, there's, there's just nothing you can do when the fucking dice, dice hate you that much. So I think now, in the last three games, we've attempted five or six passes, and on four of them, we've rolled snake eyes. Yeah, Fulgrim. Fucking unreal. Unreal. Yes, try it. Go for it. I mean, you might as well. He'll, he'll get the dice rolls. I mean... <laughs> Lady Luck is his bitch. That could be the break we need. Fails the loner. Injury? Nope. We can try that again, but now I've got to make a pickup this time. punch this guy down first I hate how many dice I have to roll here but just pushes are all I need Let's not roll any more dice than we have to. Well, the six. Now I can I can actually hand it off now. <clears throat> and we roll two twos. <sighs> what the fuck? This, this is fucking it's crazy. So in two turns now, <laughs> I think we got to, we got to, we, we have to fire virtual Viking. He's rolled snake eyes into two twos. What the fuck?
Let's have to hope that we can get the catcher free. Nice, use a reroll. And get fucked by the dice. And I actually just pick it up and run it in with a go for it. I feel like the go for it is safer than the, the handoff. Six. Jesus, finally! And there was much rejoicing. God, this, this, this team is cursed or something. <laughs> At least he didn't get all his wake-ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have a two-man advantage. Awesome. And I'm actually going to defend with the catcher because I'm hoping I can get the ball off of him. It's been more willing to punch this time. We've got a numbers advantage. We shouldn't be so scared, I don't think. And put our boys with block up towards the front there. Well, see, I'll be happy with the draw. I really want the win, but I'll be happy with the draw. I can't see how I can score again. I mean, he needs to do something colossally stupid to get to lose the ball on his, on his next turn. He's got four turns to try to get a touchdown there. It just shows you when you have a brand new team, just because you roll against the 13-40 team doesn't mean you haven't got a good chance. You do have a good chance. Just, you know, if the dice go your way. In that last turn, there were some real swings with the dice. We had some horrendous dice, and we had some very good dice. That's starting to even out. My best chance of getting the ball off of him it might be to go in a pincer formation around him and just try and get behind him and not commit too much to the front line here this should be a one skull a two again sweet he's out of rerolls that we really needed that and it's punches all fairness can I though I don't think I really can to knock these lads down first come on Dolmo Attempt number 14 to get SPP out of your mighty blow. Nope. 
No such luck. Braver with the catches. I mean, yes, they only have two strength, but they do have eight AV and blodge. How? Kill him? What do I do with a thrower, though? Hold him back. Stubby, you've been a fucking liability since the first moment you set foot in this field. This is the moment you turn it all around. This is when you fuck it up horrendously. <sighs> we are going to rejoice when we can finally get rid of this fucking ogre. I get the ball. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Thanks for that little <laughs> nugget of wisdom. <laughs> we gotta get this Ulfana down first, though. Pushes my guy forward as well, so that's great. Come on, you fucking injury! This is your moment. It's not your moment. Attempt number 15. We can do this. Indeed, Ona, oh no. it's, it's been the whole fucking night. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It's taken us 15 turns to finally get an injury, punching seven armor value the whole night. Do it. Good man. Finally our luck is turning, but is it too late? We got one turn. He's just gonna hoof it up the pitch. <laughs> Kinda makes sense. Yeah the 
crucial, crucial moment. Come on, boys. Come on, we can do this. Let's pull a win out here. We need a win. But dodging away is his best bet, but he's got no one to offload it to. Maybe he should just hang on to it and force me to roll dice to get it off him. The player holding the ball does have block. I'm not familiar with those guys. Are they like known night ball players? Yes! Finally the dice have turned. Oh, come on. And he rolls a, <laughs> rolls a skull at the crucial moment. And the ball bounces perfect for me. And I've got a reroll for the pickup and the run in. It's about time he got shit diced. Jesus. Don't fuck this up. You conceding? It says waiting for opponent. Come on, Juodos, you've got to reroll. Don't fuck this up. Is he? Is he? Bad man is disconnecting. Four, finally. Woo. Yes, John Wallace. Yeah. God, that was hard. No. He's got one turn to score and equalize. defense there's no way he can one turn touchdown with this team and let's go to that they're, they're trying to they're trying to inflate their yards uh, yards run stat I don't really care about my total you know distance run stat so you having disconnection problems Uh, some of them might be thinking that it's bad manners, but eh, I could I couldn't be bothered. I mean, the only real bad manners things is uh, the old turn sixteen foul. kidding me you are fucking kidding me this game never never fails never fails well to be fair like I mean if I just do the basics right and I don't get royally fucked by the dice he shouldn't be able to touch down because he's got Oh, that's that's a runner, so he can go. He can definitely get that runner to score if he picks the ball up, gets it on the runner. That's going to be hard to catch that runner, but he's going to be running pretty much unsupported. This runner is his really his only chance of scoring. Oh, yeah, exactly, I'll just screen him and hold him off. Yeah, I didn't see what his coach level was. 
dead. What? Oh, he's trying to break with this guy and then have the throw up, pick it up on the next turn and complete the throw, maybe? Now I this guy forward to get some sort of presence. So he's not going for the touchdown. Okay. I thought you should at least try and go for the touchdown. Would have been pretty unlikely for him to get it, but worth a try. Yes, yeah, so he can't touch down. All right. Let's punch werewolves. This is going to be enough to come out on top. Hello, Duck Yours. Uh, let's blitz with one of the other blitzes first. I'm still not I'm still not not crazy about fouling people, but I have no problem whatsoever about taking multiple mighty blows. I'm just trying to put pain on the enemy. Stubby. Perfect. <laughs> He's the worst ogre in the league. <laughs> He's dreadful. Ugh. So you can just blitz now. One, we're gonna survive one more block, and we got our Aper up. So how do we end up winning this? I feel like we got those crucial three knockouts on turn eight, but we were able to get the ball, get the touchdown quicker. For him in the first half, sure he was able to also get knockouts, but he didn't capitalize fast enough. I don't think. If he, had, if he had backed himself to score again. No long-term effect. I don't want to apo that and have him die. I really hope Joe Varnas gets MVP because then he can level up. Love Griff, love. Last block of the game. Oh God! Oh. Injured. Oh, I'm glad I, I'm glad I kept the apo. Two hundred IQ play that. Well, that that has all of a sudden turned the game around for him. He got four SPP out of that. Very nice for him. He can still try and make a pass though. He can still turn 16 foul. <laughs> Lol. Really, dude. <laughs> okay. Nuix. Little does he know, I want my ogre to die because he's the worst ogre in the league. Don't you stand in front and celebrate, Stobby. You are the worst. As soon as we get two guard on this team, you are so fired so fucking hard. 
And Alex Nestrov leveled up. Awesome. That's actually awesome because now in the next game, I just need to get a pass with my other Blitzer or an injury. And then he'll level up as well. Then I've got three leveled Blitzers. Ooh. Gotta go blodge, because I mean, I roll doubles. I, I, I gotta go blodge. Mm. Jump up could give him free blocks. We've already got one tackle. We've got a mighty blow tackle. Blood just is so good. It, it makes him so hard to, to knock him down. Or do we just ignore the doubles that we rolled and just give him mighty blow? But I think he, he's more likely to roll non-doubles on the next level up. So we're going to give him blodge. And then that could potentially also give him avenues to score as well. Because then he can dodge away if we can get the ball to him. I w blodge, bl blodge is it's, it's, it's the percentage level up. It's always the good one to do it. Always the, the good level up to take, I mean. Okay, so and look at this. We've got five out of six on Juodos. Maybe we do two of the blitzes. We do, if we can, you know, block dodge. Those are the like offensive blitzes. And then if Juodos can also get mighty blow tackle. Yes, we can afford the throw. Well, actually, you know what? We've, we've, I've got two, I've got two games left with this team. Deep beneath the blighted Zerah, uh, many slaves died to create it. But then it was the lowest bid. <laughs> uh, I don't know. You know, we 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 got to yeah, we got to fire him. Too much of a liability. <laughs> What's up, Delmo? Who hasn't had a chance in this team yet? Freedom, I don't think you've had a chance in this team yet. Big old bold thrower, good luck. Sweet, so we're up to 1360. Okay, the ogre we could replace, but I just need these linemen to start leveling up. William Slayer is two SPP away from leveling up. I'm probably going to have to end up taking guard on some of the blitzers. Like, blodge guard is very good because they're hard to knock down and they have guard. And then mighty blow tackle is very good for killing dodgy things. Sweet, good game. <laughs>